Kentucky's experimental program to stimulate competitive research, known as Kentucky EPSCOR, exists to advance the Commonwealth's research and development capacity for innovation, discovery, and knowledge-based prosperity. Kentucky EPSCOR has been the channel for over $430 million in research funding to the Commonwealth's academic institutions. Over 80% of this funding has been competitively won from federal research programs. In addition to supporting 1,400 research jobs and providing research training for over 2,300 students, this funding has created 21 research centers and major research initiatives on Kentucky's campuses. Here's one example of how the Kentucky NSF EPSCOR program supports scientists and benefits Kentucky. In 2009, the VOICE project was launched as an NSF EPSCOR funded grant bringing together researchers at five universities in Kentucky and two universities in Montana. The goal of the project was to develop a cyber infrastructure system to monitor, analyze, model, and forecast the consequences of environmental changes in freshwater ecosystems. The main goal of the Voice Project is actually to collect sensor readings from various lakes and streams, from a particular Kentucky Lake and Flathead Lake, and then to make that data available for researchers as well to other people who are interested in that information, uh, ranging all the way down to uh, fishermen. The purpose of the VOICE project is to utilize environmental sensors that we deploy in the field and then it streams that data real time to the laboratory and from the laboratory to a database management system. In a nutshell, I think it really tries to bring the, the science of hydrology and biology into this new intellectual computational framework. The cyber infrastructure part of it now allows people at the various universities to be able to gather the data just like they always have from the field, have it in a place that's safe and uniform and protected and has metadata attached to it so they can retrieve it easily and, and use it. Other people will be able to use it as well later, the same data. Um, some of our grad students here in Kentucky made applications on your iPhone and your iPad. So instead of having to trek out through the woods or into the lake, now you can just read it. You can be here or you can be any place. Flathead Lake Biological Station and Hancock Biological Station have 30 years of archival data that they'll be able to eventually include. That data is invaluable in the kind of research they do. One of the big problems coming up now is how are you going to store all this and what's important to store? And we have iClouds and it's going to take those kinds of creative new measures. That's why we need more scientists, and technologists, and engineers, and mathematicians. We involved a lot of students on the Kentucky Project. We had employed on the project 12 graduate students and 12 undergraduate students two of whom had no idea that they would pursue a PhD are now pursuing PhDs as a result of being involved in this project. And most of the students that we involved were from Appalachia or they were first generation baccalaureate seekers. And every student who's participated said, you know, this is the best part of my college career was this project. It's just been a successful endeavor from the beginning for Kentucky, for EBSCOR, for each of the universities, for the students. For me, you know, it's, it's just been a really great experience.